first if I can if I can you know catch a couple of balls and maybe make a touchdown that would be really good for me <laughs> Day at the King Dome in Seattle. The Houston Oilers hopped on a plane this morning from their training camp in San Angelo, Texas, just for this afternoon get together. They'll fly back home tonight. And for former UHers Mike Aq, Mark, and Kurt Kafensis, this is their first taste of competition this summer. And today we're going to play against um, David Hughes and Jack Sims and Connie Kawahi. This is, uh, this is a great. Hawaiian reunion right here. <laughs> While this qualifies as a home scrimmage for Seahawks, Connie Kawahi, David Hughes, and Jack Sims, the brothers Kafensis, former stars at the UH, are from nearby Richland, Washington, which makes Kurt wonder. I've been trying to peek in the stands to see if they showed up yet. We've left some tickets on standby, and uh, they haven't showed up yet. I, they better show. <laughs> Both Kurt and older brother Mark are free agents, and they share the same agent, which is how they wound up here. While they keep in touch with Brother Kenton Cardinals camp, this day, it's their chance to make some points with the Oiler coaching staff. What's the most important part of a day like today, going out there? What, uh, what do you want to show them? Well, you want to show them that you're physically uh, tough enough to play the game, that you're willing to go in there and butt heads, and, and that uh, mentally you're prepared and uh, you can play uh, air free. So if you, if you can accomplish that, then you'll, it'll be a good scrimmage. Is this your uh, first scrimmage? Yeah, it is. I, yeah, because when I broke my hand last year in camp, I, I sat home back at the camp for all the scrimmage games and preseason games, and it was pretty boring. But this is my first one. So you got to be a little forward. pumped. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Opening with punting and kicking against a live rush. The Kingdom gathering of about 10,000 will be disappointed not to see much of stars like Steve Largent and Kurt Warner. For Michael Aq, though, it's an important shot for a second season with the Oilers. Pretty good for the former UH'er and Kalaheo high star, who never figured he'd receive a pro shot. I was really surprised because I didn't play my senior year in, in um, college. I broke my collarbone, and I just thought my chances were shot. And then all the scouts came down for the hula bowl, and they liked my speed, and then they gave me a shot. And Maybe. So it's kind of gravy, right? Yeah, it's, it's great. You know, it's, it pays off that speed. It makes him a valuable commodity. A big threat on offense as a receiver and a special teams burner to get downfield. In this day and age of 45 people, being able to play that special teams, boy, that's got to be, that's kind of the, uh, the whole ball of wax, isn't it? Oh, yeah. My coach says speed kills. <laughs> if you got the speed, you can make it. It's you just running out. You're the fastest guy on the team? Yes. Still am. <laughs> Ten minutes. His pass incomplete to 82, Willie Drury. The job numbers are trickier for Mark and Kurt. Essentially, both are fighting for jobs as safeties in the defensive secondary. Well, you fight everybody. You know, everybody's asked us that question. They asked that in Houston. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to 45 mountain roster, we're going against, you know, the DBs, not only DBs, but other positions, you know because it's, it's whoever can help out on special teams. Hopefully, you know, things will work for the better and, and whatever happens. Either way, you know, none of us are upset, you know, because all you can ask for is a shot and, you know, it's, not, it's out of your hands after that. Both are coming off tough years, though, and are happy for the chance. Mark rebounded from the shock of being unexpectedly cut last year by the Colts after starting most of the previous season. When you sat out last year, and a lot of veterans didn't get a phone call. Did you think this was it? I didn't know, you know. It, it, it was hard. It's probably the hardest year I've ever had to go through. But, uh, um, I, you know, I, I, I saw the trend going all throughout the uh, league. You know, a lot of third-year players were getting released, you know, just before they get their four games in and get invested. And then it's, it's a tough year. And, uh, you know, if I can get past that one, it'll definitely be a breather. Kurt never got out of the blocks as a free agent with the Redskins when he broke a finger very early in camp. For Mark, this is his third stop, originally signing with the Browns and moving on to the Colts. 
he's definitely happier to be in Houston than in Indianapolis. When, you, when I was with the Colts, you know, I, to me that anything was better. I mean, that's like starting at the bottom and going up. So, uh, as far as the organization is concerned, uh, you know, I, I think there's, you know, it seemed, anything seems like first class after that. And uh, not to say that, you know, I didn't enjoy the years that I was in Indianapolis, but things are just done with a little more class around here. And it's also nice to have a built-in support system and a brother to talk to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He helps me out a lot because, you know, he's been through the system and, you know, the defensive plays and all that. And they're, they're, they're similar. So, you know, mentally he helps me out a lot. If I ever get down, you know, which, which I really haven't, but he's always, you know, he's there to, you know, lift me up, you know, and tell me, you know, we got to go out there and have a good day today. You know, let's go hit some people. The afternoon seems to go well for all. Lots of playing time, especially for Aq, a man of average size. But in the world of pro football, 5'9", 180 pounds doesn't go very far. He sat out the end of last year with another shoulder injury. But he tries to block that out. All I'm thinking about right now is making the team this year. And then if I, if I keep doing that every year, then who knows? I don't know how long I'll last. You can never tell you. I could get hurt today and be out for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty hard to say, but it, it can happen. Afterwards, it's just enough time for some hello and goodbyes with the three Hawaiian Seahawks. All right, hey, good luck, man. Good luck, man. All the best to you. And then it's time for Michael Aq to catch a plane back to Texas in training camp at San Angelo. The fastest oiler on the run. They, they like that, you know. I think I'll be here quite some time <laughs> if I can keep it up. That's a nice feeling. Yeah, it is.